Hello YouTube. Um, the title for this mess, this video is uh, "What's the Deal with Racism?" Well, personally, I don't think racism is necessary, you know, especially today, because uh, I, I don't see how somebody can hate somebody because of their skin color only. Um, I mean, this is 2012. We're not. We should be more uh, better in our thinking. I mean, I, I can see it was back in 1912 when we wouldn't have all the knowledge we have today, but I just don't see how, you know, you can hate somebody just because of their skin color. That's ridiculous. It's, it's quite frankly, it's, it's um, <laughs> kind of disturbing, but, you know. People entitled to your opinion. Um, well, I mean, I've, I've met some good white people in my day. I mean, you know, you know, when I go to the gym, you know, they speak to me, you know, I talk with them at all. You know, same with blacks, you know, some, you know, actually, I've been experience with whites and blacks, you know. Uh, for some odd reason, I, I guess. You know. But I mean, as terms of character, I mean, there's some nice whites and there's some evil ones. Um, the same for blacks and other races. Um, you know, I, I I've been on YouTube for a long time, and you know, I. I you know, I've been watching some of these black women bashing black men videos and vice versa. You know, it seems to me that um, it's not necessary. And especially when we, all the hell we've been through in this country for all, in, all these years we've been here. We should be, you know, helping each other out, not, not talking down to each other and trying to destroy each other. But, I guess some people have that way of thinking. You know, that's, you know, black women with, you know, good attitudes and some bad attitudes. It's like white. You know, white women, you know, they got bad attitudes too. You know, I met some, they got bad attitudes when look at me or whatever. You know, they judge just like anybody else. Um, but, you know, racism... You know, the Ku Klux Klan really is no more, it's no longer the Klan, it's just, you know, independent clans that are throughout the country. Um, the original Klan died years ago, before World War II. Um, the Klan to the, today is just a, a uh, revision of it, but um, they, really, they really don't have any position of power um, like they did back, you know, back in the day. All they do is go out marching, come out to hate, you know, blacks, fags, and Jews. And, I mean, I don't see why, because uh, unless unless they did something to them. Um, you know, as for jobs, I mean, some of these jobs are going overseas. So, I mean, they say that blacks and Mexicans are taking their jobs, but, you know, they want jobs out of here. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, some places it's hard to find a job, especially where I live at. So, how is a person to survive? I don't know. I mean, there's been people that have been out of work for two or three years and clicked on employment. And, you know, eventually unemployment runs out. So what do they do then? I mean, and these are people that have been working 10, 20 years. And even skilled trades, they're laying off. I don't... But anyway, I just... I just think it's... That, <laughs> excuse me. I'm kind of tongue-tied here. I just think racism is ridiculous. Um, it, it has no place. But 
you know, as long as they're different races, they're always going to be a few that's going to think um, because of what they've been taught or what they feel or what they heard uh, that they're better than another race. So, and you know, there's some that are called white people races, but I don't see how we can be racist since we don't have the position of power that the other races have, that, let's get that the white race have, um, to uh, <clears throat> project their racism onto us. I mean, we could be prejudiced, but you know, not like a white person, but in terms of being racist and you know carrying out policies to uh, exterminate or uh, you know make make their lives a living hell. We don't have that power. There's you know, very few blacks in politics anyway. And, you know, most of our you know, careers don't really last too long, for whatever reason. I mean, some have been successful, but um, still, I mean, doesn't doesn't make up for all the years that we've been you know, uh, mistreated. And I don't see Jesse Jackson or Reverend Al Sharpton do anything about it either. They just making money off our suffering. They could care less if we live or die. And that's how, as long as they, they got their money. So it was Farrakhan too. He don't care. He just go around, you know, making speeches. Um, telling Christians. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll put this. Uh, go around saying that only be a good. Muslim if you be a good Christian, I, I don't, well, that's, that's a different matter, I'm not going to try to explain that one, but I mean, like I said, they, they don't care, Maxine Waters, he's a representative out of California, don't care either, and if you want to call Alan West Uncle Tom, I can, she, she just as bad as Alan West in my opinion. But you know, all this race baiting, you know, quite ridiculous. Um, let's see. Also, I said in the earlier video that um, I'm going off the subject here, but I want to get this out. Um, I said that uh, Jesus Christ and down the cross rose for our sins. Um, well, see, the thing is, if you die on the cross for our sins, how come we are still in sin? I mean, if, if you know, the power, the power of the Holy Ghost says you wipe away all sin together on the earth. Maybe I'm lacking, you know, some understanding. But um, but mainly, I think. I, I wasn't denying Christ down the cross for people's sins. I was just stating the fact that, you know, he died mainly because of the people that were running Judea at that time didn't like what he had to say. It's like they killed uh, John the Baptist. It wasn't, you know, really a personal affront to Christ. I mean, I do believe in the family of Christ, but, um, until they died on the cross so for our sins. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm not very much of a Christian, I guess. You know, some things in the Bible I just can't really figure out. Now, I don't want to offend anybody. But I do apologize for saying that. But, um, you know, Maybe as I get older, things will start coming to me easier. So, but anyway, I'm um, uh, leave your comments and you know, whatever you want to do. And I just, I just think that we need to move forward and you know, get rid of all this racism because it, it makes no sense at all. Anyway, so I'm going to just leave here and I'm going to say goodnight. Bye-bye.